Alright, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to replace a shredder valve on your AC service ports without uh, having to evacuate the system or recover the fridge or anything. To so do that, I'm going to use this tool right here. Now there's a couple different options to this. This is a master kit. But uh, they make one that's just for standard shredder valves. That's about $35. Then uh, they make another one that does standard valves and JRA valves which is what this truck has is a JRA valve and that one's about $75 but I went ahead and just bought this it does Eaton and the GM large board does all of them even does R12 <coughs> uh, I'll put links to everything in the description for everything that I use in all my videos so uh, alright let's go ahead and put, put this together and get this swapped out Alright, and how this works is that goes on your service port, and this here goes inside of it. All you do is you push it in, and you unscrew the shader valve, and you pull it all the way out, and there's a valve here. And you shut this valve off. And then you can unscrew this. And your valve would come out on this tip right here. All right, so let me get the camera set up on the truck and then we'll go ahead and do this. Alright, so I got our tool here. Now, we go to our low side. Just go ahead and put, your, put it on your valve like that. We'll open this valve up, slide the tool in, you're going to have to put some little pressure on it until you hear it click in. And you go ahead and keep pressure on it the whole time while you unscrew it. Now if you shut your valve, and unscrew this. See, valve comes out with it. Now, there's all different type of, types of valves for these. This is a, a JRA valve. Here's the kit. You know, you got your big eating valves. This is your standard valve right here. Now, for the price of this, I mean, what they charge you for a small kit of them, this right here is almost the same price. I think it's like 15 or 16 dollars. That's a JRA high flow valve, M sits. Yeah. Once I use it for R12 as well, then it has the green o ring on it instead of the black. We'll go ahead and get this new valve put in. We'll put it in the same way. Just put your shredder valve in. There's a hole in the middle of it. Stick your, uh, your spring into your stem into. You go ahead and tighten that on. I can open your valve back up. Slide your tool through. Keep pressure on it by tightening it up. Go 
And you don't have to turn that valve off or anything, you just go ahead and disconnect it. Right, so this tool is by Master Cool. Um, I said there's cheaper versions out there that are kind of limited on what they could do. I just went ahead and I always tried to plan, plan for the future and, and you know, buy once, try once. But uh, thanks for watching. If uh, you have any questions, write and comment below. If you like what you saw, go ahead and like the video. Um, appreciate if you subscribe to. I'm trying to get this channel going. Uh, thank you. Bye.